Hey friends, Mike Adams here with Audacity Training. Let's pick up where we left off with our fake podcast project, and let's add some music to it. Let's get a music track in here because, well, podcasts can be kind of boring without some kind of music. Now, if I open up my Finder window, again, I'm on a Mac, so let's open up my Finder window, and I've got some YouTube music here. I'm going to use YouTube standard music because I don't want to get a copyright strike on my channel. So we'll use this uh, music that's free and available to use. Let's try this Birds in Flight. It's kind of a catchy little tune for free. I'm just going to grab this, and I'm going to drag it into my project, and that's going to create a brand new track for us. And it's down below. It's a stereo track. I'm going to make it into a mono track, if that's okay, because it'll just be easier if we're dealing completely in mono tracks. So the way that we do that is with the track selected, I come up to the tracks drop down menu and I go to mix and we're going to mix stereo down to mono. That's going to take this stereo track that's got a left and right channel and it's going to mix it down to a mono track for us just so it'll be a little bit easier to manage. So there we are. We have our music. Now the next thing that I like to do, and this is just personal preference, Whenever I'm doing a podcast or any other project similar to a podcast where there's more than one track, as things are introduced in the project, I like to step down from the top left of the project to the bottom right of the project as much as I can. That's just me. It's personal preference. You don't have to do that. I'm just letting you know why I'm doing it. So if I click on these three dots right here on the track, it opens up a sub menu. And from here, I can move the track up, I can move it down, I can move it to the top, or I can move the track up. In this case, I've only got two tracks, so that's the only choice I have. But let's move this track to the top, and because we want to start with the music. And then, once that track is at the top, I'm going to slide this track with my vocals in it over just a little bit. I don't want it being played right now. And let's make sure that we've uh, moved our cursor back to the beginning. And let's come over here and let's zoom in. I'm going to uh, press this zoom in button right here. Again, let's make sure we're at the beginning. And let's play a little bit of this music track, just a, just a second or two, uh, just to make sure I get it placed correctly. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of blank spot, or blank space there before it actually kicks in. So I'm going to bring my cursor right here, and you'll see that it turns into this bracket. If I click and hold the mouse, I can drag this over. This is non-destructive editing, by the way, uh, in Audacity. I think I showed that a couple of videos ago. And once I get this moved over, I'm going to come up here to the uh, track header, or the, uh, yeah, the, the track header, and I'm going to slide this over to the beginning, because I want that music to start a little bit quicker. So we'll get it right in there. And then let's uh, make sure we're at the beginning, and let's play through a little bit again. Okay, right there sounds to me like a good spot to uh, bring in our introductory audio. So I'm just going to place that right in here somewhere for now. And let's go back over here and play through this again. So what I want to do next is bring down the volume level of this music while I'm speaking so that I can hear what's being said. And in order to do that, let's come back here to the bottom track. I'm going to solo this track. And let's figure out a good spot to clip the audio, not clip the audio, but to split the track in two. You don't want to clip audio. Again, I'm going to put my cursor here at the beginning. I'm going to slide this track a little bit to the, to the uh, uh, right so that I have less space in it. And I'm going to put my cursor right there. I'm going to press the space bar and let's, let's listen. Welcome to the fake podcast. This is the podcast about nothing. And I'm glad you're here. All right. All right. So there's the end of our intro. I'm going to put the cursor right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to split that clip. And that split this uh, audio into two sections. Now I can come up and I can drag this other section and get it out of the way. I just want it out of the way for now. Now let's come back up, and again, there's a little bit of back and forth here that I'm going to show you. Let's come back up into the music, and let's pick a precise spot where we want this to, to auto-duck. Welcome to the fake podcast. 
I'm going to back up a little bit more here and get it more in context. So right about there, we want it to start to, to auto duck right in there somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the auto duck tool now. The auto duck tool requires a couple of things from us. It requires that there be a track below the audio that we're going to duck. By duck, I'm not referring to waterfowl. I'm talking about ducking the audio of the music down low enough while the speaker while the speaking is happening so that we can hear the speaking. And then once the speaking's done, we're going to release the auto duck and it's going to come back up to the normal level that it was at. So we've got our track set below our music track. This is called a control track. Audacity calls that bottom track there the control track. It's there to tell Audacity when to auto duck the audio that we're about to do. So if we select that top track, we're going to go ahead and select the entire thing. And then if we come up to the effect drop down menu, we can go to volume and compression and we can go to auto duck. And it opens up this dialog window. This dialog window is telling us that we are ducking our audio in the music by 17 dB. I don't think that's going to be enough, so I'm going to drag it. I'm going to hold down the mouse the mouse uh, button, and I'm going to drag that down. Let's get that down to about a minus 20. And the dotted lines here represent where that audio is going to be completely ducked down. In other words, it's going to start at 0.98 seconds, and it's going to take just about one second to duck, and it's going to take one second to come back up. And you can see that here on the scale, where it dips down, and then it dips back up, and it tells us roughly the time that it's going to take. So that's all I have to do. These numbers down here are the same thing. I've got my duck amount, my uh, outer fade duck. If I want to, I can change this to uh, one, just like the other side is, and that's fine. And then this looks good to me. We're going to duck it by 20 dB. And the, th the threshold that's here is, this is telling Audacity that in the control track, that is our spoken audio in this case, when the threshold gets to a negative 30 or higher, to auto duck. So it's going to duck in this spot right here, and it's also going to duck further down where I moved our speaking audio down a little bit further. I'll show you that in just a minute. But right now I'm going to click apply, and it auto ducked right there where our audio is. So let's come back here, and let's play through this and see what it sounds like. Welcome to the Fake Podcast. This is the podcast about nothing, and I'm glad you're here. Okay, that sounds pretty decent. Now look what it did here too, because I had this audio still uh, down here. This is fine. It doesn't matter. You know, normally um, I would not have that there, <laughs> but I mean, this is a fake podcast, so it's not really going to matter. We're going to grab another piece of this music and we're going to use it as an outro as well. So we can leave it like this for now. But next, let's grab a piece of the audio for our outro and we'll get our outro set as well. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to tweak this stuff and make it even better. I'm going to come back up here to uh, the view and I'm going to fit this project to the width of our screen again so that we can see the whole thing. Now, I'm going to solo this bottom track because I want to find the outro. I want to figure out where the outro is. So let's zoom back in right there. And let's play a little bit of it and see where the outro starts. And in the next episode, we will continue on this journey. So for now, take care. All right, that was it. So let's come back again. I'm glad you joined me. I'm glad you're Not quite. Hey, thanks for joining me. There it this, is. Uh, riveting podcast. So there's our outro. It begins right there. I'm going to put the cursor there. I'm going to right click and I'm going to split that clip. And then I'm going to move this clip down to the end. Let's go back up and let's view the entire project. I'm going to click this down to the end somewhere here just to get it out of the way. Let's call it right in here somewhere. Let's unsolo this track and let's play the music and figure out a good spot to start to fade in. So I think that's good right there. Let's uh, split this track.
this top track at this point. And then what I'm going to do next is once I get this section here highlighted, I'm going to bring my mouse up here and I'm going to just kind of run this back to get it out of the way. And then let's zoom in a little bit more so that we can see better what we're doing. And let's scroll down here to the end. Probably scroll in a bit too much or zoomed in a bit too much. So at this point, let's take this audio right here and let's start to fade it in, shall we? So I've got that audio selected. We don't want our audio to just start abruptly at the end of our podcast. We want it to fade in slowly. So let's come back up to the effect drop down menu to fading. And this time we're going to fade in. And just like that, we faded in our audio. Let's begin to play it. Hey, thanks for joining me. And there we go. So now we've got this section of audio right here that we're going to auto duck. And let's just leave it like it is and see how it does, other than the fact that I'm going to move this back. And uh, let's make sure that, yeah, that looks okay. And now let's come back up to our effect drop down window to volume and compression. And let's auto duck that one. And we'll do it by the same amount just to be consistent. And just like that, we've auto ducked. Let's, let's play through it. Hey, thanks for joining me on this uh, riveting podcast. I'm glad you joined me. I'm glad you're here. And in the next episode, we will continue on this journey. So for now, take care. Oh, man. Could that be any better? Well, yeah, it could be. But for the sake of what we're doing, let's call that good. I'm going to fit this to the width of my uh, screen again, just so I can hear it. And what we have yet to do is get our message in here. We're going to do that in the next video. But right now, all I wanted to do was to show you how to use that auto duck feature to get our intro and our outro in. In the next video, we're going to take this middle section of our podcast and we're going to put it in the middle where it belongs. And we're going to sync our tracks together so that we don't lose timing on things. And we're going to finish this little project up as far as timing goes. And then we'll come back in another video and we'll do a little bit of cleanup as well. So I'm going to let you go for now. First, I'm going to save this so that I don't forget to save it. I've called it Project 2, and there it is right there. And I will see you in the next video.